Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Pineview Drive, Homeless. I'm Kamchak Fisco, and come join me for the next stop on the Pineview Horror Express. Some residents of our village then started working for the Hanjo family over the next few months. But nobody talked about what happened there. We're actually learning about the origins of the house. In the first one, we were only learning about what happened to his wife. It wasn't until the end that we started to actually get some answers about the house, and even that was very limited. This is the first time we're learning about the history of the house, so we are getting some knowledge. I know because of the nature of how the game had to go, we're not going to get all the answers we want. That's not going to be until the next game, if there is a next game. So... I hope they make one more. I really do. I hope they're able to make the uh, final one they want to make. I heard that laughing. Which means there may be something outside of one of the windows we're supposed to see, but you won't be able to see it from upstairs. It'll be from downstairs. The last time there was laughing like that outside, there's some matches, uh, it was literally a ghost swinging from a swing in the original game. Okay, so we didn't get... Oh, we're not getting sanity from day by day, or hour by hour. We're getting sanity from moving, from exploring new rooms. Yep, our goal is to find out where that's coming from. Literally. So it's going to be out a window. So not only we're going to be able to see it from this floor anyway. Unless I start using my flashlight more. Oh, hello. That's new. I don't know if that was there yesterday, the last hour or not. It might have been. But it's related to this hour, obviously. Nice ceiling. Smash your head on your way down. Scarecrow douche canoe is still in his spot. Happy about that. Him getting loose just makes the whole difficulty a lot harder. The clown's bad enough, but the scarecrow, because he can pop up anywhere, and if you just happen to be turning when he shows up, you'll get fucked. It's <laughs> you gotta be really careful with the scarecrow loose. All right, so we're gonna check this all first. So, rats getting released from the room. I didn't move at all. That time it didn't hurt us, thankfully. I figured sooner or later something was going to come running out of the room of blood. It made sense. So, we have a wheel to turn shit. I'm going to explore the entirety of the second floor this way, and then we'll go back and go downstairs from within the house, not from the main uh, room with the grand stairwell. I started walking when I opened the door. That that made me jump, but that's not why it penalized me. It penalized me because I made the cardinal mistake of moving after opening a door. As long as I keep moving, I don't screw up again. We should be able to get a decent amount of sanity back. We should be fine. I wonder if the mirror scare happens again in this one. It's either not visible from the second floor, or we haven't found the right window yet. Alright, so we've searched that part. We need to go around, search downstairs. That one got me. That was the shadow that turns into the ravens that come at you. And it sounds like it got our guy, too, just because I was looking at it and I didn't know it would be there. We're going to have to take the tincture, so let's take the one that's in a weird spot anyway. <sighs> oh, that does not give us as much sanity as I was hoping. Shit. Okay. That sucks. I'm not seeing anything outside, so either it's the first floor, or it's you have to go outside. 
I hate that weird light that reflects like we have like a built-in headlamp or some shit. It's really weird. And I don't understand what it comes from. It's this is in the first game too. God, that one made me jump. I oh, but I followed the rules, so my character was fine. I hate that because you never know if it's the thing that's going to explode at you or if it's legitimately like one of the statues with the cloth over it in the distance. You can't really tell. That was footsteps outside. You got to be careful with that because if you're close enough to them, it's counted as interacting with the scare and an excursion. We're up past where the tincture took us, so we're doing well, as long as we can keep moving. It's moving that replenishes your sanity. You can't just sit in a corner and let it build up over time. It's literally the fact that you're moving, which endangers you. That's why it's moving. See, I thought it was down here and we were at that. That's why that's the... I don't even know what the hell I saw. It was a flash of light, so I didn't I don't know what I saw. All I saw was the flash of light, which means I missed what caused the flash of light, which is the scare. Which kinda sucks, but it is what it is. I hate trying to correct which way I'm looking while we're walking, because that can backfire so badly. Because then you're turning. Although I'm glad I know the fundamental rules, it makes playing this a lot easier. Sometimes there's shit in the fridge. Well, not sometimes. At a certain point in one, there was shit in the fridge. It doesn't mean there will be in two, but in one, there was. That's why I keep checking the fridge. The clown was sitting up there at 1.1, so he got me when I came in this damn room. All right, I'm gonna start checking the windows. Scarecrow's still there. I don't see anything out these windows. Usually it's the kitchen window if it's the ghosts on the swing set. Clown boy's not there. It's not the front. I know I'm repeating myself, but trust me, you need to repeat these rules to yourself so you follow them when you're playing it. It's critical. not the swing set. So it's either another room or we can actually go outside again. Which this very much seems to be we're stuck in the house. We can't even leave. Because otherwise, why wouldn't we leave? I screwed that up. I saw her arm. But it's, it's, again, screwed up the movement. That almost sounded like a music box. This very much seems to be aimed around us not being able to leave the house. Otherwise, why the fuck wouldn't we? So I get the feeling we'll never actually go outside. Well, now I'm gonna have to go get a tincture because there's. I don't think I'm gonna survive if I don't. So I don't mind dying from this hour and having to restart at the hour. Because at least then we can do better. I don't remember seeing a attachment for a valve anywhere. Oh, come on. That shouldn't have got... I must have still been considering moved my mouse residually... Because there's this like grace period from the noise to when you're allowed to move, and that's part of what I think is far too penalizing. I'd rather get the tincture from the rarer parts of the house that I'm less likely to go back to, <clears throat> just because that way the better ones are in a more frequent location. So I'm thinking it's either going to be in here, or the bathroom, or maybe one of the kitchens. Because where the hell else would a valve go? 
Alright, so we need to go back upstairs. Actually, we're here at the kitchen. Let's check the kitchen. I don't think it would be this room just because we've already done something in here. And that tends to be how the game works. You don't really do things repeatedly in a room. Like, if you're grabbing something and pass through the room, that's one thing. But, like, an actual activity in that room, you're usually done with that room. Alright, so we're at the bathroom. There seems to be something at the bottom of the tub. Maybe I can empty it somehow. Um... Where would I... Ah... Uh... This is obviously the tub he's talking about, which would explain why the rats happen. Do we have to go downstairs underneath the bathroom and there'll be something to drain it? Because I didn't seem to be able to click on any of the pipes. Yeah, it would have to be in the storage room. That's precisely what's above the bathroom, or below the bathroom. Except there's nothing here. I need to drain the tub. But I couldn't put the valve on the pipe of the tub. Maybe I missed the right pixel, I don't know. I don't know if it's that bad. There's nothing to... I, I can't duck or anything. I can't click on the pipe. I, there's nothing prompted. I, I have no idea how to do this. I don't think there's been any other bathroom in the house. Hold on, I'm mapping it out of my head. No, there's no bathroom where we've been. So I have no idea where I'm supposed to put the valve. So I'm gonna leave the room, because that means the fucker can spawn in there and screw our sanity. I need to go upstairs and get some tincture. Whatever the hell just happened that my character happened to be moving the wrong way screwed me. And if I'm gonna get tincture, I'm gonna go all the way to the fourth floor. Because I wanna go out of my way to get the ones first. There's one in here, I know that. Come on, get around the thing. Alright, that puts us back at half. I'm trying to ride the line because I'm trying to endure the sanity like the game originally is designed. We got the wheel in this room. Very weird that it was on the bed. I have no idea where I would do this. I am honestly at a loss. Smash myself in the face of the door, that's brilliant. There seems to be something at the bottom of the top. Maybe I can empty it somehow. Yeah, great. You got any uh, tips? Because uh, I got the valve. I still can't do shit with it. Obviously, we have to drain it somewhere else. We have to. We can't drain it here. It's not letting us. There's got to be another room in the house that'll let us do it. I assumed it would be the bathroom. I'm not seeing pipes or anything.
I wasn't moving, so I'm fine. With the battery's everywhere. I might as well use the damn flashlight. Problem is, is you look ridiculously low. So this is below the bathroom. This should be where anything would connect. But I... It's more than one door that the key unlocks. That's why. Okay. That's what threw me. Sometimes the key will unlock more than one door. So we need to check all the doors that are locked. Although I'm guessing it's going to be upstairs. Wait, are we upstairs? Yeah, we are upstairs. No, we're not. Okay. That makes more sense. So let's try the other rooms. See if we can unlock anything. Because they're talking about the art room. I don't... I know I haven't been to an art room. And it was talking about the last hour being the art room. Oh, it's this room. Yeah, we did go in here. That's a fun sound. Alright, so... I led to the art room. We got that. Turning left, the hallway reveals you can go up some more stairs, continue a stairway, or continue to another stairway near a boarded up room that goes down. Why have I... I don't recall seeing a boarded up room. So we need to see if we can find that. I mean, honestly, it may not even matter, but I want to see this boarded up room they're talking about. That's what the guide threw me. It's like, it's showing me this location. I'm like, I've, I've not seen that yet. Are my days going down different than the guide or some shit? I feel like there's a huge disconnect between what I'm reading and what I'm seeing. I have to get my bearings before I can move forward because I don't know... I, I need to find this locked door so I'm... synced with the guide, basically. I don't remember a laundry room, and it's saying that, oh, it's right next door to where you were. It's like, it is? So yeah, I knew I was going to have to refer to a guide sooner or later. Yeah, we, we read the note here. I apparently missed quite a few areas. And I see why. Okay. We actually had access to a lot more areas than I thought we did. And I didn't explore them yet, because I didn't grab a particular item, because I didn't know it was an item. Just gotta figure out where that item is now. I remember seeing it, I don't remember what room it was in. Honestly, I feel like I see better with the lights off. It may not be on this floor. Yeah, it's not this floor. What I'm looking for is basically what looks like a pair of tongs, like blacksmith tongs, but they're used for removing boards from doors, which I... We haven't run into a boarded up door, which is why that confuses me that the guide's talking about that when I haven't seen that. I know basically where they are, I just gotta figure out the room it's in, and that's the difficulty, because the screenshot shows me the item and a few surrounding things, but it doesn't show me very well enough for me to realize what the room is. There it is. Those things right there are what I was supposed to grab. The weird thing is, is this was supposed to happen the last hour. So do I just like skip all this because I didn't do that? And I'm honestly betting what they're talking about is a later hour and they have it flipped in the guide accidentally. So I need to go to the main uh, foyer. Around the stairwell will be the pipe we need to drain. So my hunch was right. It either had to be in the bathroom, below the bathroom, or in the foyer. But when I went to the foyer, I didn't see anything because I didn't look well enough. So we go down to the foyer, empty the water, come back, check the bathroom. 
and either that'll give us a key to a whole new area, or it'll be to the keys to what the guide thinks we have access to already. So we'll find out. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, come to the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.